Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make art videos. And for today's video, I am working on some ink portraits where I'm not using a lead pencil at all. Um, last week I did an ink piece as well, but I did do a sketch beforehand. But for this video, I was just looking at my reference images and going straight in with ink. Um, I was referencing images from the Humans of New York book because we have that one and I wasn't really sure what to actually draw and then I was like, you know what, this book would be a fantastic resource for drawing portraits. So that's what I did and I decided to draw a different couple of portraits. So I've got some females in there, some males, some old, some young, just to give some variety and it's really um, good to kind of draw different types of faces from what, you know, maybe you'd normally draw. Um, so yeah, I had a lot of fun with this and I'm pretty happy with how they turned out even though it is a little bit daunting to kind of just go in with ink straight away, you know, not having lead pencil there. And I mean, I am using my Pentel brush pen and I can press more lightly with it. Um, but for the first few drawings, I actually tried to not do any preliminary um, work on there. So, you know, doing the circle and the, the strokes through the face to get where the eyes and the nose and the mouth are going to go. I didn't do any of that. Um, I just went straight in trying to draw them as best as I could. And I think I did pretty well. Um, the last few drawings that I do, I actually put in those preliminary lines. Um, so not on the one that I'm working on right now, but the next one I start doing that just to see what it's like and the thing with that is though you do get those lines um, through the drawing and because it's ink you can't erase it. Um, you know, you could go over it with something white, but you know, the purpose of this is to just draw with ink straight away um, and it's like... Yeah, it makes it a bit more difficult and I think it's really good practice. It's kind of like drawing in pen um, and I think the original intent for Inktober was to actually um, kind of go out of your comfort zone and draw things in ink uh, because it makes it a bit more scary but it's really good. But you'll see for the drawing that I'm working on now, I'm using quite light strokes and then I go a bit darker when I'm adding more detail. So I mean that's a good thing about the Pentel brush pen. Um, if you're using just ink with just like a paintbrush, it might be slightly different depending on the ink that you're using. Um, but yeah, no, I had a lot of fun with this. Um, the last drawing though, I do kind of mess it up and I do cheat, I guess, by putting some white gel pen over some lines just because the portrait is of a really young girl and some of the lines just made her look really old and it just did not look good and I was like, I need to cover these up. so. I do fix them up with a white pen, so I guess technically that's cheating and you can disregard that one, but I was like, it's included, you know, I'm just going to fix it. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, uh, here are the finished drawings. I'm really happy with how they turned out. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.